First and foremost, our thoughts and wishes go out to the grieving family uh, of the victim. Uh, it seems like with all the media sort of hype that's been going on, um, it seems like uh, the family have almost been forgotten. Those two individuals, basically, they represent themselves and themselves only. Um, I don't feel the need to apologise on their behalf, uh, nor should any of the Muslim community, or any community for that matter, because they were acting alone and they will represent themselves. We have the worst fears that, you know, that they will escalate the rally and become more violent than, they, than we already anticipated. We released a video yesterday before the incident took place. Um, local imams in Tain and Weir, in conjunction with IDC Northeast, um, condemning the, the, the forthcoming march. EDL and the far right um, generally they, they prey on situations like this and manipulate and exploit situations like this for their own political gain and their own goals type thing. So um, we say, you know, don't fall for it. You know, it's, it's, it's a ploy that they have. Um, it's a tactic that they use, a very underhanded tactic. Let's not fall for the hype. Let's not, you know, um, make the situation worse than it already is. Let's not pander to their racism and their discrimination and their prejudices and their Islamophobia. I had a very full briefing about how the EDL march was going to be managed and the counter march too, and um, really in, in quite considerable detail. I think now the events in Woolwich yesterday and the response of the EDL have changed that and I'm having a briefing this afternoon from the police who are working on um, upping their strategy as it were. It must have upped the ante knowing that EDL were out and about last night and that they might have a bit of leverage to try and whip up the kind of hysteria that's their speciality. That's what they're about, trying to make people bigoted. Um, and so we do need to guard against that happening. But uh, I, am, I am confident. I want to know that the Chief's got enough resources to deal with this um, and uh, exactly how she proposes to do it.